Well, it's been a while since I saw a film from my Skinny Ebook channel, and um, I finally saw that film Revenge that people were talking about through the Me Too movement. It's a French film, but most of it's in English, uh, by Corley Faget, who I'm not too familiar with. But, um, again, just to the point is, uh, a woman is assaulted uh, by some crazy men that uh, a billionaire, a millionaire guy tried to invite in his little pad in Morocco, and uh, once she's left for Strad because they didn't want anyone to know about it because she was causing trouble, they felt they dropped her on the cliff, and now she takes vengeance against the men that try to mess her around. It's a bold movie indeed. It's a very bold one indeed, and it definitely lives up to its 18 certificate for its strong, bloody violence, gory images, and sexual violence. And uh, this one doesn't pass by. You get to see people's heads exploding. Um, gory images as people's wounds are exposed and trying to close it together. People being shot and stabbed and gorging, strangulation, assault, all with blood. And there's even a bizarre scene, um, which I won't give too many spoilers away, where we happen to see one of the men, he's all butt naked, you can even see his cock out, and he tries to take ventures against the woman as well. The reason why I saw it was mainly because of the 18th certificate, mainly because you don't get a lot of films that shocking anymore, and this one definitely uh, pushes the buttons, especially if you're someone who's part of the men's rights incel movement, you're gonna hate this movie. It's supposed to be incendiary, and it's supposed to piss you off. I think it done its job there. Uh, with that being said, however... Um, there were some problems as far as, like, the pacing is concerned. I, I thought the movie could have cut its running time by about 20 or 30 minutes or so, because I thought, you know, there was only really three characters. Well, actually, I take that back. There were four. The woman and the three men that were trying to be ogle, ugly and creepy at her. So it could have been a lot less more contained in type of environment. Um... But in many ways, uh, that's as far as concerns I have. Um, I will say, if you did like this movie, you might also like, uh, outside of the feminist angle of things, you know, like a Thelma and Louise sort of thing, you definitely might like Desierto, which has a similar western sort of landscape to it, except that the film is more concentrated on the immigration debate, and it shows uh, Jeffrey Dean Morgan, who's naked on Walking Dead, shooting at legal immigrants across the U.S.-Mexico border. Lots of similarities between that film as well as Duel, which is Steven Spielberg's best film, in my opinion, about uh, just a simple man and a big, you know, highway 18-wheeler trying to chase him down. These films are very tense and very realistic sort of threats. And if you like Revenge, you might like those films. But if you want to see something that taps into the Me Too movement, you hate men so much, you hate Donald Trump, you hate anyone who just has a penis, you're probably going to like this movie.